Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best portable monitors. Starting at number 5. ViewSonic V times 1655 4K. If you're hellbent on playing at 4K no matter where you are, the ViewSonic V times 1655 4K will see you right. You'll pay extra for a UHD panel, but the package doesn't skimp on build quality and features to make room for its high resolution. Kid out with the usual USB-C and HDMI ports, you'll be able to easily hook this screen up to anything that can handle 4K visuals. Whether you've got one of the best gaming laptops around or you just fancy torturing your Steam Deck, proper UHD visuals are on the menu with this display. Design, aesthetically, the ViewSonic V times 1655-4K is a bit conservative, which will suit some of you out there that aren't into gamer vibes. That said, it cleverly uses its back I.O. block as a stick stand, meaning the extra bulk at the back serves more than one purpose. Performance, naturally, you'll be capped at 60Hz using this 4K monitor, but that's not going to matter so much if you're not into shooters, or lack a decent GPU. Response times aren't abysmal, but you might also want to curb your expectations if you're used to speedy desktop screens. Coming at number 4. G-Story GSV56QM The G-Story GSV56QM is a portable monitor that actually gives the ASUS ROG Strix XG17 a run for its money, despite having a lower refresh rate. The part that makes this technically a better option solely based on speed is its snappier response time, which will matter if you care about every frame in competitive scenarios. At a glance, the GSV56QM feels fairly ordinary, wielding a 1080p display and a decent selection of ports, including a few USB-C connectors. Yet, it's actually a bit of a monster specs-wise, offering a 15.6-inch panel with a 165Hz refresh rate and that aforementioned 1 millisecond response time. There's probably an argument to be had over whether 3 milliseconds paired with 240Hz is more beneficial, but it's still impressive to see responsiveness like that in this sort of package. Design, in terms of looks, the G-Story does look slightly dated, with a fairly thick bottom bezel and a logo that feels straight out of the 2000s. It's also strangely got a pair of micro USB ports facing outwards, even though that standard should be dead and buried by now. That said, the GSV56QM does feel well thought out when it comes to design, with a headphone jack conveniently facing outwards alongside some front firing speakers. At number 3. Sox Flipgo. If your aim is to put together a dual screen monitor setup you can take on the go, the Sox Flipgo could be key. This double stacked panel comes armed with everything you'll need to bring a desktop experience with you, and it makes for a great way to enlarge your gaming handheld screen to boot. Wearing a clamshell design that's not unlike a gaming laptop, the Flipgo is designed to cram as much screen space into as small a footprint as possible. Rather than extending outwards like most dual options out there, Sox stacks things vertically, and it'll all fold down into something that'll fit in your backpack. It also comes with an orange cover that might not be to everyone's tastes, but is going to add some extra protection for the display's aluminium body. Design, the Flipgo boasts both display link support and an ultraview mode, meaning you can use the display as two extra screens or one extended panel. You'll be able to plug USB-C devices straight into this screen with a single cable, but mini HDMI is also present to maximize compatibility. Sadly, there's no built-in battery with this one, so you'll need a power bank like the Sox 20,000 mAh 65W if you want to truly cut the cord. Number 2 of my list. Verbatim Portable Touchscreen. Portable monitors can cost a pretty penny, but Verbatim's portable touchscreen monitor manages to offer great features for less. It's worth noting this screen lacks a built-in battery, and that may matter if you're looking for a completely untethered experience. However, if you hook it up to your own battery bank, you'll be able to pair it with the best gaming handhelds out there and benefit from features like HDR and touchscreen support. Depending on what you're using it for, trading away an integrated battery for those traits is more than worthwhile not to mention it helps cut cost. Design, in terms of design, 
Verbatim's monitor is clad with a metal shell, and it's pretty thin even by portable monitor standards. One of its standout elements is the fact it has a kickstand built in, so you won't have to use any dual-use cases to prop it up on a desk. Performance, we tested the Verbatim portable touchscreen monitor using laptops and handhelds like the Steam Deck, and for the price, it performed admirably. 15.6 inches is arguably the perfect size for a 1080p screen, and we didn't notice any particularly soft visuals as a result of SIT's resolution. Even PS5 gameplay looks pretty decent on this screen, which is a feat given that we normally use a 4K panel with our new gen consoles. And number 1. Asus ROG Strix. Arguably one of the best portable monitors specifically for gaming out there, the Asus ROG Strix XG17 pulls some serious on-the-go punches. It's pricey, but if you wouldn't dream of playing games at lower refresh rates even when out the house, this is the screen you'll want to go for. Boasting a wild 240Hz refresh rate and a massive 17-inch panel, the Strix XG17 will put some monitors tethered to desks to shame. Better still, it makes room for a chunky 7800mAh battery, so you'll be able to truly cut the cord when away from power outlets. It is 1080p, which might feel a bit low for some enthusiasts out there, but that's a small caveat considering the sheer speed of this portable solution. Design, the ROG Strix XG17 pretty much looks like the top half of an Asus laptop, and it comes with a wedge stand built into its protective cover. If you fancy making it look a bit more like a traditional screen, you'll have the option to pick up a tripod stand, and that could be wise if you're into putting together a pop-up competitive setup. Performance, with a 3 milliseconds response time accompanying that 240Hz refresh rate, the ROG Strix XG17 will provide fairly responsive visuals. Again, 1080p may look a little soft if you're used to using 4K screens, but things should look just fine at 17 inches. This panel is missing some perks like HDR support, and that's a shame considering the price. However, that's not going to matter much if you're intending to play fast-paced FPS games where speed is everything. Verdict, ultimately, it's ridiculous specs that earn the ASUS ROG Strix XG17 a spot at the top of our list. Its price is equally as ludicrous, but this portable monitor is going to cater more to gamers than most options out there. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.